three years into generative AI and no company is profitable, I don't think that means anything. Three years into a lot of stuff, things aren't profitable. Hell, databases, in their initial three years, they were not money makers, and now Larry Ellison owns a Hawaiian island. But what the first three years doesn't really mean anything in terms of company startups, let alone technology startups. It says, is this turning into another tech company bubble for the big AI companies? No. Is this turn going to turn out to be just a feature enhancement to existing products rather than a whole new industry? Is AI just the next spell check in Word? No, I, I think you're missing what the amount of ramifications that AI has for stuff all over the place. And I'll give you an example that I think about all the time. I have a car, uh, and I'm gonna, I, I don't want to flex here, but I'm just going to lay it out. It's a Rolls Royce. You don't buy a Rolls Royce in order to uh, have an, in, an interactive driving experience. You don't buy one so that you can take the corners really fast. You don't even want to see gauges. Rolls Royces are fantastic machines for casually driving around from place to place, enjoying the journey. So right now my Rolls Royce has all kinds of things on the dashboard. It only has like three dials on the dashboard, but it's got some like warning lights and stuff. I don't have any warning lights on, just to be clear. Although I don't have a problem with people who do. That's totally okay too. But it's got all kinds of like little informational stuff. I don't want to know. Tell me when something's a problem. Tell me when something's out of the ordinary. And so I would love just a simple machine learning model to say, show me metrics on the dashboard only when they're out of my normal operating ranges for this car. Given its age, given its mileage, what its recent history's been, don't alert me unless something's unusual. Like a temperature gauge. The hell am I going to do with a temperature gauge? I, I'm not going to glance down and keep an eye on it. I live in Las Vegas. Things are hot. Tell me when it's unusually hot. Tell me when it's going to be a problem, for example. AI is going to be everywhere, just ever. The camera that I'm using, it's like got all these fancy complicated settings and I'm like, just tell me, just make an easy button to where it can just know from what I'm trying to do. Um, I think AI is going to be more and more all over the place, especially when you look at edge devices. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'll stop there, but no, I, I, I think it's going to be big. I, in terms of separate standalone companies, I, uh, I think it's going to end up kind of like AWS, Azure, and Google. AWS, Azure, and Google are like the big uh, cloud hosting companies in the United States. I think that 